This episode of Steven Universe was awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with my review of Steven Universe episode 77, Message Received. This is episode 25 of season 2. Be sure to check out my last review and my gym hierarchy theory. So, in this episode of Steven Universe, Steven confronts Paradot about what happened right off the bat. And I didn't expect this at all. I thought this was going to take a while, maybe... Uh, be at the end of the Steven bomb, but no, he goes right into it, he confronts her about it, and those previews will fool the heck out of you, because this episode didn't really go the way I expected at all, it actually went in a very nice direction, opposed to what I thought was going to happen. So, Steven asked Paradot about the diamonds, and I thought we, were, we would get a lot of um, information about them, you know, a lot more information about them, but... Uh, while we got some information, I still think they're a mystery at this point. And Paradot is very respectful of the diamonds. Paradot says that her diamond is yellow diamond, which means that the gems do fall under different diamonds, which kind of makes it, um, uh, I guess it, ma it makes it different to rank them. Unless, um, all diamonds have the same gems, but different colors, then it would make more sense. But we'll, we'll see about that. And, um, Steven tricks Paradise by saying Yellow Diamond is behind her, and then he takes the diamond thing with him, and he locks her in the truck, the truck that they were um, talking in. One of Earth's greatest traffic technology, or technologies, and, um, the child safety lock. And it's funny because Gumball also got trapped in a car, but he got out, and it took Paradise a second to get out of the car. So, Steven learns about Paradot's plans, and the diamond is a communicator, and Paradot is really, really, really loyal to the diamonds, and there has to be more to it. I hope we get a backstory soon about Paradot. Um, maybe that'll be in today's episode. I just want to know, like, why are you so loyal to these diamonds? Like, what have they done for you? And Steven wastes no time as he tells, he tells the gems immediately about this communicator. Amethyst wants to control Paradot's mind, and Steven, he's just so kind. He doesn't want to control her. He just thinks that she should know what's right. And I like that Steven can, you know, see the good in people. He's trying to see the good in people. I really like that in a character. Um, I guess it reflects Rose in a way, and it just shows that uh, he's a really good character. And hopefully that doesn't, like, screw him over later on the show or anything. And Paradise was honking the car, the car horn throughout this whole conversation with Steven and the gems. And she escapes from the barn and the car in her robot, and she gets the diamond back, and then she leaves. Amethyst transforms into a helicopter, and they follow her. And I was thinking, like, um, I guess before this episode, like something really bad happened, and then they all had to leave because uh, they mentioned going. Uh, you can feel bad at the temple. That's what Pearl says, something like that, or Garnet says that. And um, you know, I'm thinking, oh, if something's really bad, like they have to actually leave. They can't come back here. But it's not that serious, I would say. Um, so they do. They stop Paradox. They stop her really fast, so that it's not even fair. Like they just jump on her, and. Um, while they're doing a gang beatdown on the robot, Steven is the only one who notices that Paradise escapes the robot and then uh, gets the diamond that she had dropped. And um, Steven and Paradise are kind of fighting. And Paradise says that your emotions rule out reason. And she's not wrong, but I guess for this situation, it's not the right mindset to be thinking. And the diamond has four sides, of course. Um, Paradise turns it. You know, she twists it a little bit, and it glows yellow. So... I was thinking if she turned it a different way, she could possibly call a different diamond. And it makes you think, like, why was that there on the moon base? If it was on the moon base, it was obviously used for communication. Um, and was that base for white diamond or something? Because it was white, but no one was there. Like, was it abandoned or something? We need to know more about that. And... Um, Anyways, a call is open, and we see Yellow Diamond's Pearl for the first time. And we hear Yellow Diamond's voice, and I almost thought we weren't going to see her. But we see her, and it's so great. We're getting somewhere in the story, and she was asking Paradox questions. 
And one was about the Jasper that she assigned her. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe Peridot is above Jasper in terms of hierarchy. I don't really know. It was just kind of theory I had. And she's asking her about the ship, but Peridot hesitates and then lies. Um, you know, she's looking back at the crystal gems and all that. And Peridot says that there was an accident. And Yellow Diamond tells her that there's a ship on the way, you know, to pick up Peridot. And then Peridot starts going against Yellow Diamond a little bit at this point, and basically recommends like stopping the cluster. And you know, there are so many resources on the Earth that we could use. There's so much out of this planet that we could get. And Yellow Diamond just wants a planet to die. And this whole conversation was intense. Um, we see that Yellow Diamond is huge. Like once she actually picks up the uh, the call and like I don't know, we we see her. She's huge. And the diamonds must be giants, and Yellow Diamond is literally yelling at Peridot at this point. And then Peridot says that there are things on the Earth worth protecting, and she calls her a clod. And basically Peridot, uh, she says something like, I know clearly, I clearly know more about the planet than you. And, you know, Yellow Diamond's just getting aggravated. And I had to laugh when Peridot called Yellow Diamond a clod. It was so funny. And Super Smash Kart, he actually predicted that. He left a comment on the last video saying that would happen. And that was great. It was funny. Great moment in the show. And basically, the call, Peridot ends the call. They have to throw the diamond away because it can be de detonated remotely. And, you know, Steven bubbles it, garnet, and punches it into the atmosphere or whatever. And finally, Peridot officially becomes a member of the Crystal Gems. And it'd be cool if they added her to the theme song or something. And this is so exciting. We got to see Yellow Diamond, Peridot's a Crystal Gem. And I wonder if the Crystal Gems will have more members as the show goes on. But right now, Steven Universe is great. Best material on Cartoon Network. I love it. So, where do we go from here? I think the, sh the ship is still coming to make sure the cluster works out properly and to get rid of Peridot. Um, maybe Yellow Diamond will come there herself. You know, she's huge. You could say she's a giant woman. Ba boom. <laughs> uh, I'm not funny. Um, I think they're going to have to fuse to stop her. There's no way they can stop her without fusion. She's just huge. Uh, their fusion is huge. That's, that's the way to do it. Like, it's like. Power Rangers or something. They have a huge monster. We gotta get into our Zoids and combine to stop her. <laughs> it's basically fusion. And um, I also noticed there are no previews for this episode. Uh, the final episode of the Steven Bomb in the main preview, it seems. Unless it was that one thing where Paradox like walking on something, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, but it seems like all the episodes are from episodes one through four. Interesting. Might be some uh, juicy stuff in the final episode of the Steven Bomb, and I was right in saying that Paradox was changed by the Crystal Gems, like, there's no way that would have all just been thrown away, like, you've spent too many episodes with them, you've spent too much time with them, there's no way they couldn't have changed you, and that's it for me, thank you so much for watching, tell me what you thought about this awesome episode of Steven Universe, and what you expect in today's episode, check out my Facebook and Twitter, I'm Sermo11, see you next time, and peace out.